everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel here. Uh, today is Saturday, November 1st. It's here already. Unbelievable. Um, time right now is about 10 a.m. And I just wanted to give you a brief update what's going on prior to the HHO games. Uh, I'm sitting here in my kitchen with my cup of coffee. So, today uh, is a day in my area where we are bringing hazardous chemicals and materials to waste collection points that are being sponsored by the state of Connecticut. Um, I'll be bringing some waste electrolyte that I've created with one of my newly constructed cells that I believe has probably has a very, fairly high concentration of uh, chromium-6, hexavalent chromium. So definitely want to handle that correctly. And I also have uh, <coughs> some ferrous chloride uh, waste chemical that was used in the etching process of the uh, pulse width modulator circuit boards. Uh, on that note, the next 50 circuit boards, or actually I should say the next 50 pulse width modulator are in the pipeline. Uh, all, all but 20 of the boards are completed and fully drilled. The uh, remaining 20 boards only need to be drilled. Uh, my wife was helping me last night preforming the components and uh, this afternoon we'll be putting those together. Also, um, and they will, of course they will be available through the, uh, through the store link at alternate energy or altenergy.org. The 6 inch EBN cells, 6 inch EBN dry cells, those are also available through, through alt-energy.org website. Uh, on the store link. So um, if you're looking for one of the EBN 6-inch dry cells, you can get them there. We will also have quite a few of them available for uh, purchase directly at the show on the 11th of November. I will be broadcasting. I've just created a, um, a Ustream channel, and I think the, the URL is uh, u-streamstream.com. Ustream. Hey, just do it search on uh, online for it. Um, it's a brand new channel. I happened to bump into an, an old associate of mine uh, who had a, a Ustream broadcast running at the time that I went on to update my uh, my channel on Ustream. It was, it was <laughs> it's pretty weird actually, but uh, great guy. His name is Joel Kahn. Anyway, um, I will be broadcasting live from the road on the trip down two HHO games in Florida and uh, the trip will consist of two legs. Halfway down I will be picking up my uh, EBN associate Raptor and he will be riding shotgun with me for the second leg down to HHO games. It's a full court press right now getting the uh, Honda outfitted with the EBN cell. Um, I have a 115 amp truck alternator that I'll be installing on the Honda and uh, of course my pulse width modulator control circuitry and I'm also going to be trying um, a couple of new techniques for injecting the HHO and for controlling the flow uh, of the HHO to the engine. There will be an EFI on board as well and it will be used in conjunction with the HHO generator so that when the HHO generator is on it will only it will be uh, offsetting the mixture being uh, sent to the fuel injectors from the feedback circuit of the O2 sensor. The the new concept that I'm going to be trying on the Honda will be to only activate the cell and inject HHO within a very narrow range of throttle settings on the uh, on the fuel injection system. Since we know that the amount of HHO being generated, even at five, six, seven liters per minute, um, is only enough to supplement the fuel stream, it probably won't have much impact at heavier loads. So what I want to do is I want to limit the range of my injection to a small window, uh, just above idle and uh, just just into a very light in, just into a very light 
engine load range such as you would get when cruising down the highway and that's where I believe we'll, we'll find the most benefit. Now the Honda which is back on the road has never ever once exceeded 40 miles per gallon. I've gotten as high as 39 and a half miles to the gallon but I have never ever once topped 40 miles to the gallon. So on the trip down to Florida at the HHO games Hopefully, I will have something uh, exciting to report during my keynote address at 2 p.m. on November 11. I hope you will all join me at the HHO Games on November 11 and uh, participate in the uh, symposium that I will be conducting at 2 p.m. <laughs> and I will also, of course, be available during the entire show all the way through Friday, which concludes at the uh, Manatee Technical Institute for a roundtable discussion uh, with some other noted experts in the field of hydrogen electrolysis and water fuel cells. I guess that's it for now. Uh, hope to see you in Florida. I'm going back to work now on the Honda. Get the uh, get some brackets built for the secondary alternator that's going to power the HHO cell I'm putting in, and we'll see what happens. Zero fossil fuel signing off for now. Thanks for joining me.